Okay, I'm, I'm sorry to do two diatribes about such a similar subject in a row like this, but I couldn't fit all my bitching into one segment. See, last week we talked about how silly it was for Christians to be pissed about the commercialization of Christmas, given that the commercialization is the only reason anybody gives a shit about Christmas. But this week I want to talk about how the commercialization is the only reason anybody gives a shit about Jesus. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's possible that Christianity could have perpetuated itself 20 centuries without a government sponsor. I mean, by the time the Roman Empire started warming up to it, it had already been around for at least a century and a half, and any religion that makes it that long has at least a chance of embedding itself long term. But even if it had managed to survive this long, there's no way in hell it would be the world's largest religion. It would be a weird oddity in the Eastern Mediterranean that was noteworthy mostly for being way more into symbolic cannibalism than you like in a religion. Of course, that ain't our timeline. In our timeline, in the early 4th century, the Roman Empire realized that having a uniform religion would be swell, and of all the popular ones available at the time, Christianity had the strongest emphasis on docility. It taught the poor to be satisfied, it taught the victim to turn the other cheek, and it taught the parishioner to render unto Caesar whatever the fuck he asked for. Exactly the kind of religion you need if you want to grease the gears of commerce. Now, there, there were some problematic elements, right? Early Christians were a little too obsessed with not accumulating wealth, and their martyrdom fetish swelled to the point of an existential threat from time to time. But it was nothing that the ruling authority couldn't buff out after a few generations. So even if you buy into the origin story where Christianity started off as this well-intentioned effort to help the poor and see the humanity in everyone, you have to admit that for at least the last 1,700 years or so, it's been honed into a tool of oppression for the working class. It's a cultural tranquilizer that gives the masses something to think about other than how fucked up it is that their landlord gets to keep so much of their crop. And even if the religion actually started with the ministry of Jesus, and Jesus is the same peacenik hippie that he's portrayed as today, it's been a tool of commerce for five and a half times as long as it was whatever the fuck they think it was back then. And it's not like Christians don't notice this shit. Hell, they accidentally boast of it. They'll point out how much comfort slaves found in the Bible or how popular it is for you know, the people in the poorest parts of the world. Of course, they think that's a symbol of how empowering their religion is to everybody. But in truth, it's the exact opposite. Christianity is popular among oppressed people because it was specifically crafted to appeal to oppressed people for centuries. And the effectiveness of that process exploded after the Reformation when decentralization ushered natural selection into the picture. The end result was, and inevitably was, a religion that excelled at subduing the masses to the yoke of commerce. Of course, it, it's pretty easy to find counterexamples to challenge that assertion, especially as the stock markets adjust to the latest variant that the anti-vax religious assholes have unleashed on the world. But that's just how natural selection works. This was never an entirely conscious process, so there are bound to be vestigial organs and junk DNA that outlive their usefulness or else never had any usefulness at all. I mean, all the religious ideas that sufficiently hinder the needs of the society die out, not all of them as quickly as the ones that actively kill their adherents, but one way or the other, they all die out. Anything shy of that, though, can linger on for centuries and plague the future with the bigotries of the past. But in the end, the purpose whether intentional or not, is to sedate the masses. And so the result is to sedate the masses. Long story short, even if Jesus was the reason for the season, and he, he's not, but even if he was, that's no argument against commercialism, since commercialism is the reason for the Jesus in the first place. <laughs> 